problem, we're asked to name some alcohols according to the IUPAC convention, um, conventions. And so what you want to do is locate the longest chain here, uh, four carbons it looks like here. We can number this from left to right or right to left. The better way to number this would be from right to left so that the methyl group is positioned at a lower numbering. Okay, so I like to uh, number and name my substituents and then alphabetize all of the substituents and assemble the name. So this is a diol. We have a hydroxyl group at carbon 4 and we have a hydroxyl group at carbon 1. So the IUPAC way to name a diol is uh, to first put the substituents to methyl and then um, this would be uh, butane, so we don't need the dash. Butane 1, 4, diol. Okay. Part C, let's just jump to Part C. Part C is also a diol. Um, read the description of my video to find another video just uh, naming diols. So let's go ahead and number the ring. It doesn't matter if we number clockwise or counterclockwise. We have two hydroxyl groups, so this is going to be a diol as well. But you'll notice that the two hydroxyl groups are both on a wedge coming up towards us, so we use the prefix cis. And this is cyclobutane for rings. Don't forget the prefix cyclo. Cyclobutane. And then we number the positions of the two hydroxyl groups, carbons 1 and 3, and add the ending here, diol. Okay, so cis cyclobutane 1, 3 diol. All right, over here, um, we need to select the, uh, the longest chain and go every which way you can. Remember that the longest chain must include the alcohol or the hydroxyl group that's attached to this carbon. So it could go from left to right or zigzag through. It looks like the longest chain is going to zigzag through this molecule and not simply just be from left to right. So watch out for that. Um, this is a hexanol and the carbon is at, a uh, hydroxyl group is on carbon two. Now this functional, this uh, side group here is a ethyl group and it's connected to carbon three. So this would be three ethyl. And then uh, we name the parent chain, so it's going to be 2-hexanol. Okay, so that's A through C. Watch my other video if you're interested in the other parts to this problem. Thanks for watching.